Hello everyone, my name is Dave Partner. Welcome to your ninth Node.js tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be doing some practicals on buffers and um, it will not be just tiny little pockets of uh, random things with buffers. So you get an idea and an overview of uh, what, how the buffer works so that when you start deploying your real life application or uh, taking extensive um, tutorials or something you will easily understand uh, uh, what, what it does okay so we'll quickly open a node.js command prompt I'll type node and um, our command prompt is um, up and running so the first thing we want to do is always remember to navigate to your current folder this is my desktop and I have to navigate to this folder so I'll just double click and um, copy this address here minimize it then right back here i'll type cd which is change directory then i'll right click on my mouse if you're using windows just right click your right click pastes the whatever you're having on your clipboard so i'll hit enter and there we are right inside this folder so node is now put into this folder so the first thing i want to do with node.js is um, to open the uh, repo which is node and hit enter so we can now start writing raw codes here um, the first thing we want to do with buffer is try to read um, a file here let us read this file any name dot text this is the text it has inside so we will try to read it and uh, there we are back here hello everyone my name is dave partner ozalo welcome to your ninth node.js tutorial in this tutorial we will do practicals of the buffer we just saw in the last video and um, hopefully you will understand some things all right uh, first of all get to your desktop and then uh, get the uh, the address to the the folder we're working with then go to your um, Windows Start button and then start up your node. You type node, and as long as you have node installed, the command prompt will show up. And from there, we can start doing interesting stuff. So first of all, we change directory to the current directory we are working on on our desktop. Make sure you always do this whenever you are working with node. Navigate to any part of your system that your node module is and then start with it. So here we are. The next thing we want to do is to start our REPL. Um, just type node and hit enter so that we can just write raw codes here. Otherwise, we could just open this folder and then um, create a new JS file and write directly inside the JS file. But, but for this tutorial, I just chose to do it here for no real reason. Okay. So first of all, we want to check out what the, the power of um, a buffer. We have buffer, just create a variable and um, let's call it buffer. Or whatever you want to call your variable but then you have to create a new instance of buffer and give it a size what's the size of our buffer and uh, just choose any size let's just choose eight it can only contain eight octets so i click enter and of course it will tell me undefined but it works then the next thing we want to do is write into this buffer buffer dot write and um, what we want to write into the buffer is Hello, uh, hello, are uh, you there? Okay, um, for the purpose of this tutorial, I purposefully chose size 8 and I put uh, a string that is longer than 8. If you count this, this is already 5, this is 6, this space is 7, and A is 8. So, in when you're writing to a buffer, once it reaches the limit of the buffer it doesn't write the rest okay so um, let us read assuming that we two people are chatting and this guy has already the user one has written this to buffer and user two wants to read it so buffer dot read oh sorry buffer dot to string so we are converting it to a string and um, we, we hit enter as you can see it's hello a 
another thing we can do is to we can write um, in parts let's let's first of all write a buffer dot write let's write to this buffer and say um, uh, okay let's just say um, word and that's it we hit enter that's the first five We've written a uh, five of text to it so what do we write in the next five what we do is to, to for us to write to the next remaining you know the size of the buffer is eight let's write to the ne um, next remaining so we'll say buffer so write then we offset we can say space war then we'll write the offset you should offset it by five and um, that's it okay remember in the past tutorial i taught you what an offset is um, in this buffer tutorial i taught you what the second parameter does which is offset the third parameter um, as you can see the first parameter is the string you're writing the second parameter is the offset we have to write the string in the buffer length then the the the, the third parameter is the length and then the last is the encoding and encoding is UTF-8 by default, so we don't need to specify it. So in this same buffer, this buffer variable, we've written two things. The first one is word. Then we we counted five octets, gave a space and wrote war. And that's this is the off offset for counting five times. So let's read what we have there. We say buffer dot to string. We are converting it to a string that we can read. Then we hit enter. So what do we have? World War. So um, it's actually longer than than what we have, the size of eight we have, okay? But um, I hope you get the idea of how to uh, manipulate this buffer. So we can concatenate buffers. For instance, we can say var, um, our first buffer, let's just call it buffer one, is equals to new buffer. And we say, um, hello world then um, we do as next buffer a uh, buffer to just retype what you have and you have please visit and subscribe to my YouTube okay channel all right so um, let's call it buffer two. So you just retype what we have and um, we created two buffers and um, there we are now we can concatenate so we can say var buffer tree buffer tree is equal to buffer dot concat that that's the the function you use to concatenate buffers so we will concatenate two buffers which is buffer one variable and buffer two variable and there we are so we're just saying hey join this guy to this guy that's buffer one to buffer two that's what we have here so click enter and then the next thing we do is we'll try and print it what we have there you can see hey uh, buffer tree um, so give us what you have in buffer tree dot to string so what we are doing here is we are trying to we want to print the contents of buffer tree so console.log will help you to print the contents of buffer tree so we want just to write buffer tree is um, colon then we want to print the contents of buffer tree so it's buffer dot uh, to string oops mistake uh, it should be buffer tree dot to string so we did so we are converting whatever is in buffer tree to a string and then we are adding it to this uh, whatever we write we wrote here so we hit enter and what we have is buffer tree which is what we just wrote here we have hello world which is the contents of buffer one and we have comma which is a, from this comma to this place is the content of buffer two so this is how to concatenate 
with both of us, okay? Um, so another example will be to see how we can compare both of us. So usually we have a buffer one, and we can just say that our buffer one is a um, new buffer. We can say our buffer one is one, two, three, four. Okay, and um, read enter. Oops, oops, oops. Um, okay, um, this is a mistake. It should be new. So I press the top arrow key on my keyboard and um, it brought back the last thing I typed. So it hit enter, we've set the first variable. So I can press that again, since um, then I can say four, five, six, seven. Then I can call this buffer two, I hit enter. I hope you understand what I'm doing here. I set a variable called buffer one and um, I Gave it the string one two three four. Then I set a variable called buffer two, and I gave it a string four five six seven eight. So the next thing we'll, we'll try to do is to see if we can compare um, the buffers. So our result, we can say bar result should be buffer buffer one compared buffer one compare to buffer two. So this this particular function helps you to compare two buffers and know which is higher and um, which is lower. So that is it for the compare. I'll just hit enter, and then we can console.log results dot two string. So there we have it, and um, it is minus one because uh, buffer one is less than buffer two, okay? Or appears before buffer two. You can use A, B, C, D, and E, F, G, H here too. It will give you, it gives you a negative number when the first buffer uh, is less or appears before the second buffer. So I know this is a string. Uh, it actually doesn't really... Um, see it as a number okay so um it's for com comparisons of, of buffers so that's when you start doing stuff like um if result is less than zero that means the first one is appears before the second one um output something print something which is um console.log um buffer one appears before buffer, buffer two and stuff like that okay and um, oops syntax error um oops 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 so what i was trying to do is to just show you how to uh print this let me rewrite it again and um, we have no control C twice and um, okay we have node and we have buffer one 